Hi guys. In this video we will be talking about Fuzzy Vault. As part of this video we will be covering the following topics. The problem statement. The motivation behind this topic. The viewer background required to understand the topic. Mathematical proof and application of Fuzzy Vault. We describe a simple cryptographic construction that we will refer to as a fuzzy vault. A person Tom may place a secret text in a fuzzy vault and then lock it using a set X of elements. Another person Martin who tries to unlock the vault using a set Y of similar length, he is successful only if Y is close to X, that is, only if X and Y overlap substantially. Let us suppose that Tom wishes to lock a secret Z under set A. He selects a single variable polynomial P in X such that P encodes Z in some fashion. Tom computes evaluations of P on the elements of A treating the elements of A as distinct X coordinate values. He is projecting the elements of A onto points lying on the polynomial P. Tom then creates several random false points that do not lie on P, that is points that create random noise. The entire collection of points that lie on the polynomial P and the false points together constitute a commitment of P, that is Z. We call this collection of points R. Now suppose Martin wishes to unlock Z by means of a set B. If A and B overlap substantially, then B identifies many points in R that lie on P so that Martin can recover a set of points that is mostly correct but contains a small amount of noise. This scheme is largely based on the polynomial reconstruction problem. Motivation behind this topic Emma is a music lover. She is looking to find someone who shares her taste in music, but does not want to reveal information about her preferences indiscriminately to other people. She then compiles a set of her favorite music tracks M and publishes them in a concealed way. Along with the music tracks she also places her contact information in the set. Hey I love this song. Really? I love it too. If another person, say Bob, comes along with his own set N of favorite tracks that is identical to M, then he can decrypt M and obtain M as contact information. However, anyone whose music taste differs substantially from M's will fail. To understand this topic the viewers are expected to possess basic understanding of algorithms how they are presented and interpreted. Set theory, and its notation. Read Solomon codes. And. A fair bit of mathematical maturity is also expected since the topic presented here is fairly complex. Now, we will head to the proof. I will be explaining the proof of a lemma used in our project regarding fuzzy walls. So, in order to understand this lemma and the proof of this lemma in a better way, it will be really helpful if we first understand the algorithm uh, that is used in this lemma. So, we have a lock algorithm, which is basically used to create a generalized Reed Solomon code word representing the secret Kita as a corresponding polynomial P. The code word is computed over X coordinates corresponding to the elements in a set. To conceal the code word, we add a random noise in the form of a random uh, x, y uh, pairs and uh, the parameters that are used in this algorithm are a field f, uh, which is a read Solomon decoding uh, algorithm, RS decode. We have k, t, r as the input parameter such that k is less than or equal to t, t is less than or equal to r, r is less than or equal to q, where q is the cardinality of the field and a secret key term as the input. We have a set a which contains the elements belonging to the field F. And the output uh, for this algorithm is a set R, which contains point X comma Y, such that these points belong to the field. And in this algorithm, we use the variables capital X and capital R and set them to zero. We then set the sec secret keta to a corresponding polynomial P. We iterate from I to T, and in each iteration, we set XI comma YI, with the elements in set A and its corresponding polynomial P. And then we set capital X as X big cup X of I and R with XI comma YI. 
We then iterate from t plus one to r and select the random noise, that is xi comma yi pairs in such a way so that they intersect neither the set A nor the polynomial P. And in order to prevent information leak about the order in which xi are chosen, the set R may output in a predetermined order, such as points in order of ascending x coordinates or any other order. The set R and the parameter triplet k, t, and r are together referred as fuzzy walls. This algorithm picks t points according to a given polynomial p of a degree less than k and r minus t random points. Now, we have the lemma which states that for every mu greater than zero, where mu is a, a real number with a probability at least one minus mu, the target set r generated by the algorithm lock on polynomial P and locking set A satisfies the following criteria. So there exists an, there exists at least a mu divided by three multiplied by Q raised to the power K minus T multiplied by R divided by T raised to the power T polynomials P dash belonging to P such that R includes at least T points of the form X comma P of X belonging to the field. Here we have R as the result of the uh, log algorithm. We have set A containing all the elements in the field F. We have mu as the um, real number. We have uh, Q as the cardinality of the field. We have K, T, and R as the input for the log algorithm. And uh, now in this uh, proof for the lemma, we have first analyzed the output of the modified log algorithm and claimed that the expected number of polynomials that agree with this set of points in t places denoted by n is large. In our problem, the log algorithm outputs a set of points t which are selected from a fixed polynomial p. And in such case, the probability is less than mu of n, at most n. And to prove this, we construct a bipartite graph G, where the left vertices correspond to the polynomial of degree less than k, and the right vertices correspond to a subset of n points from the field. The log algorithm picks a fixed vertex P on the right and outputs a random neighbor of this vertex. And we are supposed to show that this output vertex has high degree mu n with high probability. The analysis of the modification of log algorithm shows that an average degree of right vertex is n. We notice that the graph G is symmetric about left vertices, and it would be suffice to consider a right endpoint of the random edge of G and argue that its degree is at least mu of n, mu into n. But it is true, uh, since the vertices with degree less than mu of n, mu into n, can only account for a mu fraction of the edges in the graph chain. Thus, we have our lemma proved. Thank you. One of the applications of the fuzzy vault includes iris recognition in order to provide robust and reliable biometric recognition of individuals. Moreover, the iris has been found to be stable over time. Iris biometric reference data provides a strong and permanent link between individuals and their biometric traits. Biometric crypto systems grant a significant improvement in data privacy and increase the likelihood that individuals will effectively consent in biometric system usage. The system locks biometric feature sets extracted from binary iris biometric reference data, that is iris codes, of the left and right irises in a single fuzzy vault. At pre-processing, the pupil and the outer boundary of the iris are detected. Subsequently, general iris recognition algorithms transform the iris ring to a normalized rectangular texture on which image enhancement methods are applied. To complete the pre-processing, the parts of the iris texture which are occluded by eyelids, eyelashes, or reflections are detected and stored in an according noise mask. The vast majority of feature extraction algorithms follow the approach of Dogman, in which a binary feature vector, 
that is the iris code, is extracted by applying adequate filters to the iris texture in a row-wise manner. These are some of the references that we have used for making this video. You can check them out if you need more details on the topic. Thanks for, Thanks watching. for watching.